Hi, my name is Patrick Krauss, and I'm the president of IT Convergence. Today, I'd like to talk to you about Oracle's unified method. Over the last few years, Oracle has acquired many companies. Each new company came with an additional implementation methodology. Each new method comes with its own unique processes, terminology, and approach that can create confusion and challenges for project teams. The need for a consistent method with a common language was a primary driver behind the development of Oracle Unified Method. For many years, Oracle's AIM, or Application Implementation Methodology, has been the standard for eBusiness Suite implementations. OUM replaces AIM, as well as all other implementation methodologies previously used in the Oracle ecosystem. OUM is a method that has been evolving during the last years to support the complete enterprise IT lifecycle. It includes three focus areas, Manage Focus Area, Envision Focus Area, and Implementation Focus Area. Manage Focus Area is the portion of the Oracle Unified Method that provides tools and technologies to manage the project. Managing the project means taking care of the six project constraints that exist on every project. Scope, cost, time, quality, resources, and risk. Envision deals with development and maintenance of enterprise level IT strategy, architecture, and governance. It is focused on business architecture and practices to provide the vision for one or more projects intended to achieve a focused set of business objectives, establish a broad set of enterprise level IT processes that are to be continued, and define an enterprise strategy on such topics as governance, business intelligence, or business process improvement prior to an actual project that supports implementation of specific technology in these areas. Oracle Unified Method organizes the delivery of software implementation projects along several phases. Each of these phases culminates in a milestone. The milestones serve to establish exit criteria for each phase and evaluate the project's progress and the readiness of the project to commit resources to begin the subsequent phase. These phases are number one, inception, number two, elaboration, number three, construction, number four, transition, and number five, production. Oracle Unified Method is organized in views that provide access to specific method contents. The views may be related to a service offering, a focus area, a discipline, or the full method. Some examples of views available are requirements-driven application implementation, solution-driven application implementation, software upgrade, and more. All predefined views can be accessed from the OUM homepage using the Select a View pull-down. Most of the views are organized by focus area, Manage, Implement, and Envision. As OUM evolves, views are continually being reviewed, improved, and added. A complete directory of views is available in the OUM view catalog that is accessible from the resource button on any of the views. E-Business Suite projects with standard customization requirements will not change. Business flows will still be used. Evolving refinements will still take place under the form of different CRPs. Templates can be different to adhere to the new standard, but the content will be the same. For custom development projects, OUM provides a modern approach that allows the use of agile techniques. Thank you.